Hey, we're in Russia. It's our final night. We're in the Red Square. And we got a shot of vodka. And I feel like this building has been on our bucket list for the longest time. We have never come to a country where the metro system is basically its own attraction in itself. Good morning everybody and welcome back to Russia. We've just spent an incredible nine days exploring this country with on-the-go tours. We've taken you to St. Petersburg, to Novogord, we've taken you to Russian spas, overnight trains and bunkers and today it's our final day here in Moscow and we've decided to start it in probably the most iconic spot here in Russia, the Red Square. So the reason the Red Square is so iconic is because of a collection of buildings but back in the day it used to be kind of like the marketplace but now people come here to see some iconic spots. So the first one is the Gum just here. So it's a 19th century shopping centre and it is actually super beautiful. We'll take you guys in there later but after the Gum there is. The Kremlin would kind of be the most iconic spot here. So just behind those red walls is the presidential building. So that's where President Putin would come to work and inside you can actually go and do a tour of the Kremlin which is what we'll do later today. So the next one is the State Historical Museum and it really stands out because of the bright red brick that they've built it with. So the second last one is the Mausoleum for Lenin. At certain times of the week and certain times of the day you can go inside and see his crypt but he was kind of like the grandfather of communism. And now we are walking over to the final corner of the Red Square and I feel like this building has been on our bucket list for the longest time. This is such the postcard shot of Russia. Like whenever I think of Russia, I think of this cathedral and it kind of feels surreal actually being here in front of it. It is definitely the most colorful church we've ever seen. It's called St. Basil's Cathedral. It is right here in the Red Square. Absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, inside the Gum looks so nice. But just next to the Red Square, there what? is this pedestrian walkway. It's lined with a lot of shops, a lot of cafes. We are looking for a place for breakfast. This street is a kilometer long, so um, I think we can have a lot of choice. I feel like we need another babushka. For us? Oh, I want to get one for Hugo. Actually, that would be pretty fun. <laughs> Wait, what one? I think we need to do it. There's so many to choose from. Alrighty, we decided to come into the Gum, and this department store actually opened in 1893. So it is so old, full of history, and it kind of feels like we're walking through a very grand greenhouse. I don't think there's anything we can get here. It's like very expensive designer shop spot. I think it's just kind of cool to just walk around and just just look at it. Just take it all in. It's really nice. So during the Soviet times in Russia, canteen style food courts were super popular because they were quick, they were cheap. You just line up, grab your food, eat and go. And here in the Gum, they've actually set up a canteen that's in the style of back in the day. However, of course, there's a lot more modern food. We're having sushi, fresh salads. So we've come out to come and experience one and it kind of looks like a feast that we've ordered. I think this is actually one of the most popular canteen style restaurants here in Moscow. So when I saw it here, I was like, okay, let's go. And we've got so much food. Yes, you can tell we're hungry. <laughs> that meal was so good. I am glad that we came when we did because this place really is a popular spot. Look at it. That whole meal was about $15 each. So 30 bucks in total, which has actually been one of our most expensive meals here in Russia, which shows how cheap the food usually is. But it is expected when you're in a shopping center with Gucci and Prada and Jimmy Choo and, and all these designer shops. wondering why we're actually checking out the metros here in Russia. They're not the oldest in the world, that's London. They're not the biggest, that's Shanghai. Russia has the grandest metros in the whole world. So there's over 200 metros here in Moscow alone and they're all designed to be different. The one we've stopped off at is designed like the old 
Paris metro stations. So we popped into our second metro station that we recommend you guys check out. It's called Kievskia and it almost feels like you've walked into an art museum. There's really well painted artwork on the actual metro station. You can almost just sit here and you feel like you're in an art gallery. Moscow metro system, over 9 million people use it every single day. Wow. So up until a few years ago, I don't think you were allowed to film in the metro systems, but definitely come a long way because they even have. Little photo spots telling you where the beautiful spots are to take your shots. So if you do want to come down and check out the metros, or even actually use them as they're supposed to be, which are metros, it is actually only a dollar to get a ticket and they don't have zones, so you can buy that ticket. We've literally gone to, I think, five stations now and it's only cost us a dollar because there's no zones, so you only have to pay for a new one once you actually leave the metro and then enter again. This building over here is the presidential senate so that is where president putin has his office and works there this has got to be the largest cannon i've ever seen just look at the size of these balls that's a kid to put it into perspective and this cannon has been guarding the kremlin since the 1500s wow ready i'm going to touch the biggest bell in the world oh my gosh look how massive it is so currently in the Cathedral Square area of the Kremlin and a quick history lesson on Christianity. At one point Rome used to be kind of like the capital of the religion then it moved to Constantinople which is modern day Istanbul. When that collapsed it was actually moved to Russia. So this used to kind of be the, the capital of the Christianity church for Eastern Europe. Right empty was in your place Don't fold your hand in Okay, it is officially our final night here in Russia and we have heard that Moscow is amazing at night. So On The Go Tours actually does a tour called Moscow by Night and we're going to be jumping on a bus and I've heard that vodka and pickles are involved. That is all I've heard of so we're going to head downstairs now and jump on the bus. Guys, everyone was right. Moscow looks completely different at night. We've come straight back to the Red Square and we've all been given a little shot of vodka to start so, uh, the night tour. To be honest, we aren't huge vodka drinkers, but... Hey, we're in Russia. It's our final night. We're in the Red Square. And we've got a shot of vodka. Cheers, Cheers. to you. Oh, I really don't like it. <laughs> okay, this is our last one. This, we, last this one. is our second shot <laughs> since we've come to Russia and it's in the Red Square. Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Still so bad. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, it looks like we're being so dramatic, but... Oh, oh God. <laughs> they, they were right. Lying. There are pickles. Supposedly, it's a Russian tradition to have you shot a vodka. I don't know if it has to be in the Red Square, but um, then you eat your pickle. Bottoms up. Mm. I love pickles. I love pickles too. <laughs> Oh my gosh guys, if you come to Moscow, you have to come out at night as well. It is so seriously so beautiful. We're in Moscow! <laughs> Someone's had way too much vodka. <laughs> no, I've had way too many pickles. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, all right, we've actually come to the center of the Red Square. The gum is literally lit up like Christmas. Oh, imagine coming here for Christmas. It would be amazing. I really want to come. I want to come before Christmas and New Year's. I think that would be amazing. Where we placed our minds. You may try and turn all the switches on. If you need to shed a light. That went way too fast. That went I so quick. That, I can't believe that trip is already over. We are now back at the airport. and we Moscow were, airport this time. We actually jumped on Skyscan and we said, what's the cheapest country we can go to after Russia? Alrighty, everybody. Welcome to Nice. Welcome to the south of France. Whoa, I haven't had a creep in ages. Guys, you can't go to France without hiring a convertible. And uh, we have found the ultimate convertible. <laughs> the blue car we wish we had. The blue, the 
blue car they wish they had. <laughs>